Casey and her brother pulled up to the coffee shop in Utica, driving a Kia Sorento, and approached us with enthusiasm. Within the first few minutes of talking with Casey, it was apparent that she was comfortable here in Utica. We knew she was from Burma, but a few questions still remained. Would she be happy living in rural Utica? Did she miss her home? Casey was born in Rangoon, Burma in 1976 and is part of the Karen tribe. When we asked her about life back home, she responded simply that there were no human rights in Burma. Throughout Casey's life, the government was under an authoritarian military regime, which was violent and oppressive. The Karen and other minorities in Burma have been targeted for ethnic extermination by the military regime, forcing many Karen people to flee the country. Prior to arriving in Utica two months ago, Casey spent time in Iowa and Miami. She worked in Miami on a cruise ship in 2009. Casey gave us the impression that Miami had a lot of opportunities to make friends and find jobs, but the atmosphere of the large and bustling city seemed overwhelming to her. I don't like crowded places like New York City, like Miami. Calm buildings, like crowded, busy, and then my opinion, I like uh, uh, nice, quiet place, you know, like, uh, like a house like this, you know, they have the trees, and you know, and nice weather, so of course, yeah, that's why I like Utica, otherwise... Utica, also known as the Second Chance City, has a population of 62,000 and is home to approximately 11,000 refugees. Despite currently being unemployed, Casey had a very positive outlook for her future in Utica. She lives in Utica with two of her brothers, who have helped her transition to her new environment. I want to go and see my brother because I want to live here because I feel like I'm not away from home. I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm home. You know. Casey has found a supportive community of Karen people and is a member of a Baptist church that is 90% Karen. She stated that she feels more at home in Utica because she is part of this large and active Karen community. Casey is also enthusiastic about meeting people outside of the Karen community. I greet everybody, right, right. so it doesn't matter. I know I don't know. Yeah, and I smile yeah. all of them. And so that's why they noticed me, and they just started talking. I mean, they started talking to me, and then, okay, where are you from? In addition to specifically mentioning how much she likes meeting people outside the Karen tribe, her ease in talking to two college students from a school she's never heard of showed us how confident and comfortable she feels. Our experiences in Utica give us the overall impression that this is a very congenial and inclusive community. This is a stark contrast to the ethnic tension which likely drove Casey out of Burma. The only thing Casey misses in Utica is the rest of her family. Mom who left back home. So the only thing I consider about it, like, other than that, so of course, if she comes here, and, yeah. you know, she will be perfect.